Le groupe Space Hug nous visite pour la première fois à Montréal. Ce soir, ils sont au cabaret avec en première partie Tracy Bonham. Euh, si vous demeurez à Ottawa, demain, ils seront au Zafa de Beeble Brox. Il y a Royston qui est juste ici. Il y a son frère Anthony qui est juste là, pour ne pas me tromper. Ensuite de ça, il y a Johnny qui joue de la batterie, qui parle en français. Et il y a aussi Richard qui est l'autre guitariste. Bienvenue. Merci. Merci. Bonjour. 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 Parlez tous français ou quoi? Ah, un petit peu. Ah, ben ah. c'est pas mal. Vous, vous vivez à New York, hein? Ah, oui. How long ah. have you been? Ah, in New York. Uh, we've uh, we've uh, been living there for about uh, two years, kind of, collectively, really. We all kind of been there for a lot, you know, different periods of time. Four years, three years, two years, and one year. So, a five, four, three, two, one situation. Mm -hmm. Donc, ils ont, ils ont tous, euh, ils, ils viennent d'Angleterre, de Leeds, mais euh, quand même, ils demeurent euh, à New York depuis quelques années, un, deux ans, l'autre trois, l'autre quatre, l'autre euh, une année. But why did you decide to leave England? I was bored, really. I was, I was getting very bored. bored. I was, yeah, I was, I was on the dole, and it was raining all the time, and uh, you know, I was. I, I, That's true. The weather isn't yeah. really. Uh, and there the, the, the were lots more attractive uh, girls in New York in these villages. So <laughs> that was the main it's reason. Great, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, lots more attractive boys. I think he means. I guess on pas de fille. Donc ils sont déménagés. Is that good French, man? À New York, parce qu'en fait, à la vie de Royston, c'est qu'il était tanné, il pleuvait tout le temps euh, en Angleterre. Et les filles sont pas mal plus belles aussi dans le East Village, dans le coin de New York. And was the music scene, you know, probably the music scene was also a reason why you moved to New York? Right, uh, yeah. The, the East Village is like, you know, it's an amazing place for, for, you know, young bands. There's a lot of creativity going on, not, not, not just musically, but, you know. Because All forms of art. But it's bizarre because the British scene seems to be you know, always, you know, in, in action, uh, but um, didn't think it, it's so, been it getting a lot more exciting recently over the last couple of years. Actually, while I've been away, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but uh, <laughs> uh, it, it's really, you know, the whole like British band that kind of thing is really booming at the moment, and uh, you know, it's quite exciting, really. So, mm -hmm. so do you do wish? Would you go back to England or? We're going to go back to England, yeah. We're going to go back and play there, you know. It's all but to live there? Uh, uh, well, yeah. I mean, it's, a, you know, the, the green rolling hills of home uh, can't really ever be so replaced home, by, you know. You're missing anyone. home a little bit. Really. I get homesick from time to time, you know. Okay. I miss beans mainly, baked beans. <laughs> you know, apart, apart from that, I'm all right. Donc, ils vont peut-être oh. retourner à un moment donné en Angleterre pour y vivre parce que, pas de temps en temps, hein, il s'ennuie euh, quand même de, de son Angleterre natale. Mais c'est... Is New York a source of inspiration for your band? Uh, it, it's definitely affected it, yeah. It's been an effect, but um, I think that we, we come from a... We all come from a similar school, you know. We like uh, a lot of right, old sort of 70s rock music, you know. But we've been, like, lumped into that when, in fact, Perhaps the record is not completely reflective of the 70s, although there's a large, you know, dose of that in the music. It's not really. We're not a 70s band, I think, you know. But when 70s music from New York, uh, uh, you, you mean? Yeah, or? a little bit. I mean, Iggy Pop and, and stuff was an influence, particularly on my brother, you know. Um, but um, you know, we were. Yeah, I guess it, it has an influence living there. You, how can it not? You know, New York City is such a sort of vibrant, it's powerful a, place. It's that, a country, really. It's oh yeah, unto itself. I mean, because you leave New York City and you go off to. You know, the Midwest or, uh, is such a vastly different country, you know, I mean, like, scarily so, you know. I mean, mm -hmm. so. Donc, New York est une source euh, d'inspiration, sûr et certain, on ne peut pas passer à côté, parce que c'est un pays, New York, vous, vous vous évadez New York dans le centre des États-Unis, vous vous pensez que vous êtes en quelque part ailleurs. Et la musique aussi des années 70 semble une source euh, d'inspiration. Et juste pour euh, parler de ce que Royston parlait tantôt, euh, c'est que la scène britannique ne l'intéressait pas trop tôt, c'est pour ça qu'il a déménagé à New York, malgré que c'est redevenu un peu plein Intéressant intro depuis une couple d'années. Uh, you're going to perform the... What is your, your name? Yeah. What, why did you decide to call yourself Space Hug? Cochon de l'espace, you know? You know? Cochon de l'espace parce que it's very silly. It's very silly. Donc, yeah. c'est très fou comme nom. Right. Space <laughs> Hug, c'est la, la raison majeure. Donc, ils vont nous chanter cette, de façon semi-acoustique, bien sûr. Voici uh, Space Hug et la chanson qui s'appelle Space Hug. Oh, voilà. All right. Take it away, Johnny. Jonathan Craig on drums. Good afternoon. One, two, three, four. This one's actually called Only a Few, but no man. Is 
left high and dry All over and out Truth should be known For all of its consequence Hangs in the balance And shadows my doubt Tantôt, ils ont joué Only a Few, mais là, c'est vrai. Hein? You're going to play Space Hog? We are going to do it this, this time. time. It's, a, it's a, yeah, a promise? Yeah, I promise you. Promise okay, c'est une promesse. <laughs> Voici Space Hog. Yes. Right. Okay, nice. Johnny, Johnny away again, this Johnny. time we're doing Space Hog. Let's go. Okay, thanks. <laughs>
who see. Obviously, it's more electric on stage, or is it? A yeah. lot more electric. <laughs> a lot more. It's frighteningly electric. It's frying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alors, il y aura de la friture électrique ce soir sur scène. C'est comme ça qu'ils vont l'interpréter. Uh, the, the hit you have in the meantime, there's a sampling in that song of yes. a Penguin Cafe Orchestra it, song. That's very, that's very bright and Some, interesting. A, a cameraman that. told me that actually oh, really? because yeah. she danced on it. Or, uh, that's really? amazing. Yeah. There's, there's a, yeah Was amazing. it called Telephone and Rubber Band? Telephone and Rubber Band, yeah. Penguin Cafe Orchestra, like this, uh, you know, very new age kind of. They all sit around wearing big, 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 big woolly jumpers and they do some really great music. But um, there's no, you, you don't but have it's to not give actually, it. It's not actually, you see, when you make a phone call in England, uh, you used to be, before they all got really modern and things you used to sometimes make a call and you get both the ringing tone and the engaged tone at the same time it's quite common Ooh. and uh, that's what it is okay but you don't have to give them credit for that uh, um, no, we don't like to talk about that yeah <laughs> okay no we don't have to give them credit because it's not sufficiently long of a sample because in it. fact the actual sample is, is less than less than a second you know? yeah and so, so there are rules yeah there are so if we would have used so I mean that's as generic to them as it is to us you know what you do with that I mean you could take that from the telephone so yeah Okay. Donc là dans la chanson In the meantime, il y a un échantillonnage d'une chanson qui s'appelle c'est quoi encore Telephone and Rubber Band de Penguin yeah. Cafe Orchestra et c'est un genre de, de son de timbre de téléphone où tu entends la sonnerie et aussi le son lorsque c'est occupé en Angleterre en tout cas c'est comme ça et la raison pour laquelle il n'y a pas de crédit sur l'album pour le Penguin Cafe Orchestra c'est que l'échantillonnage est simplement trop court. Un point c'est tout. Euh, notre ami Johnny parle français. Oui, un petit peu. Un petit peu. Un petit peu. Ah, tu te joins bon. au groupe quand exactement? Ah, pardon? Quand est-ce que tu es arrivé dans le groupe Space Hug? Ah. That's a good question, hein? En Angleterre, s'il vous plaît. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> already, look at that. <laughs> When did you arrive in Space Try Hug? Your... When did you join the band? Uh, well, myself and Anthony met in a espresso bar in the East Village. Who and used to uh, kill rats? Uh, uh, that was Johnny. me. Ah, it's you. I was actually doing an extermination job. How many did you job. kill? I was doing a job downstairs. There was these rats nesting in boxes of prescribed New York drugs. rats? Uh, yes. New York rats. Huge. They all carry guns. Huh? You know? 12 inches long. 12 inches. That's yeah. a rat. 30 centimeters. And I went upstairs for coffee, and uh, he was in there, and he was conspicuous by his Leeds accent. And uh, he said, Ah, kids coming over next week. You want to get in a band? So I said, Yeah, all right. And uh, so we did. And that was it. Donc Johnny euh, s'occupait à tuer des rats dans le sous-sol d'un bar expresso. Il a rencontré notre ami Anthony ici et il a reconnu son accent qui venait de Leeds parce qu'ils sont tous les quatre de, de Leeds, mais c'est quand même à New York qu'ils se sont rencontrés. C'est comme ça que l'histoire de Space Hug a commencé. Can, can I cry here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> And you, you, the record deal was actually signed in the States. Yep, it was signed about uh, in, in March of last year mm -hmm. and uh, yeah well so it's is your album out in england uh, no not out yet no we haven't we haven't had a good time really we we, we haven't you know this uh, sprawling landmass of yours is uh, consuming all our yeah. time and energies at the moment <laughs> not of theirs so. actually of america yes i know well, well, we're, i'm referring we're, we're to we're the north, north america continent, uh, continent. Uh, yes so. thank you i've just been educated uh, yeah yeah yes. well we're not part of the united states but we're in america and we're montreal north of course america. is a place unto itself but that's we won't go into that right now right yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> Donc, euh, donc euh, le, <rire> le, le groupe, euh, l'album n'est pas encore sorti en Angleterre, même si... C'est par là? Oui, c'est par là. D'accord, bonjour. Alors, euh, l'album n'est toujours pas sorti en Angleterre parce qu'ils sont comme très occupés. Ils trouvent que l'Amérique du Nord, c'est quand même un très, très grand territoire. Et Anthony semble ici euh, au courant un peu de la situation politique. Il dit Montréal, ça semble le Québec, un endroit à part. Oui, c'est à peu près ça, mais on n'entrera pas dans les détails ici. And your uh, opening for Red Hot Chili Pepper is in Toronto. Are you... And the Skydome. 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 Where? Yeah. <laughs> and are you playing with them for many dates or it's just a... Uh, huit, huit uh, jours. Huit jours. Hein? Huit jours. Voilà. D'accord. Donc, euh, malheureusement, Red Hot Chili Peppers ne viendront pas nous voir ici, mais on a la chance de voir le groupe Space Hug ce soir. And quickly, do you uh, only play songs from this album or uh, something no, else? No, we only play live. We do a few of the covers, songs of friends, you know, people's ah oui, bands donc, that we like. Ah oui, donc c'est ça. Il y aura pas simplement des chansons de l'album, mais plein d'autres trucs. Thanks a lot. Have fun tonight. Merci. Thank you. Thank you. Voici Space Hug et la chanson In the Meantime. C'est au cabaret ce soir. Ciao. Bye. Mm -hmm.